welcome back to the channel thank you for clicking play it is the big one it is the euro 2020 final we take on the the eternal rival germany in today's final can we lift our first trophy in 54 years it would be huge i am recording this on the day the full game came out so as you can see down at the bottom there it is no longer a beta version also the day that Wales are taking on Hungary, and also the day that Spurs have sacked Maurizio Pochettino. So that is a huge, huge day of football. Um, and it gets bigger because we've got the Euro 2020 final. Um, so what I thought we'd do today is we'll just have a, a little bit of a look at uh, maybe at the tournament as a whole um, and just see um, if we've got any chance of getting any players in the, in the top scorers, the team of the week, things like that. So if we look at the top scorers chart, um, well, Tammy Abraham's going to have to do a Jeff Hurst if he's going to get up there. He's three behind Artem Juba at the minute. Uh, there is Timo Werner in on four as well. So if he happened to net a hat-trick, he would get above Juba, who started off like a, a house on fire, didn't he? he? scored in every game except the one that they got eliminated in, I think. Um, in terms of the... Uh, oh, Harry Maguire's top of the interceptions made, which is good. That could get him into the team of the week. He is also in um, in danger of becoming the most booked player at the tournament. Uh, Callum Wilson, 28 minutes per goal. He's doing well there. Key headers for Harry Kane. He's up there at the top of that. Also <laughs> at the top of the offsides. Jordan Henderson with the red card. Um, no one's been sent off more than once, obviously, because if they did, I think it would be... Um, um, if, if they were sent off more than once, I don't think they would have played a single match of the tournament, really, would they? Um, let's have a look at the average rating. Let's see who's been really performing well. Um, Tony Kroos, 7.70 for Germany. And that looks to be about it, really. There's no one else high up there from either team. So, yeah, I mean, let's have, let's have a look then. Let's have a look at Germany. Let's have a look at, their, um, at how they've done in the tournament so they were in group f with serbia sweden and norway and they got through it with seven points a draw in the first game against serbia and then two wins against sweden and norway without conceding um they then beat denmark 2-0 in the second round they then beat switzerland 2-0 in the quarter final before dispatching the netherlands 4-0 in the semi-final so they haven't actually conceded a goal in five games since that first group game which bodes well for us doesn't it but it surely means they are due to concede um fingers crossed so they have no injury concerns nobody suspended um it so mitchell vice's red uh, yellow card that he has pending there has no bearing on this tournament if he does get booked it would be going on towards um the um the nation's league um so that is about it i suppose we just get straight to it. So this is the team that we are going with. Um, it's a, it's the last big push from everybody now. Um, I was tempted to put Marcus Rashford in, but Tammy Abraham's heroics in that epic semi-final against France, he's got to keep his place there. The aerial ability, I think, that threat in the air is um, is something that we need to keep, uh, keep going. Um, I've got players that I can bring on, the likes of Madison and Rashford, Mason Mount. Um, players like that can come on if we need them to. I am going to keep it with the high high defensive line and the um, and Jordan Pickford on the sweeper keeper. They do have a little bit of pace in attack, but it's mainly Timo Werner. Um, so we'll see how it goes. A bit like we did against France when we we almost didn't do the uh, the switches in time, but we will um, we will go with this line at the minute and we'll see how it pans out. I have been waiting days to play this final. It's been a frustrating way trying to get it. Um, the big news is that Timo Werner doesn't even start for Germany today. Mario Goetze starts up front. Um, Serge Gnabry and Julian Draxler providing the width and the speed. Um, let's just have a quick look at the pair of them. Are they both quick? Um, Gnabry, pretty quick. Very, well, very quick. And I don't think Draxler's that quick, is he? I think they're a little bit generous for him. I don't think he's really that quick. And Mario Goetze um, definitely isn't hugely quick at all. So I'm not too worried about that high defensive line that we're playing at the minute. Um, Jonathan Tarr, Antonio Rudiger, solid back four, really, with Hector and Weisser. Tostegen in goal. Um, Kimmich playing in that defensive midfielder role um, with Goretzka and Gundogan. It's a, it's a good Germany team. Is it really good enough to have beaten Netherlands 4-0 and not concede a goal in five? 
I think it's time to break that. Come on, boys. I think it is time to break that. I'm going to go calmly here. Um, I'm going to say Germany are unbeaten, but we can end that run. And then I'm passionately going to do... You know what I'm going to do. There's a lot more to come, and I believe you've got what it takes. And do you know what? I'm going to let you see the tunnel interview today, because it's the final after all. I'm wearing the England shirt. Um, it's one of my favourite ones, actually. Um, it's got to be 10, 15 years old. If you have any idea, jump in the comments. Let me know what year this is from. I did mean to try and have a look. And I totally forgot. I was going to wear a white one, but... Um, they were all creased and the creases show up because they're in a draw somewhere. So, <laughs> um, Right, how are you approaching the task of keeping the Euros leading goal scorers quiet here? Oh, I trust my players to do their job. Tim Averna has been banging in the goals. Do you have a plan to stop him? Yeah, put him on the bench. They've done it for me. Um, he's a fine player. I'm confident in their ability. That's just it. Jordan Pickford has really caught the iron goal. How important will he be here today? Um, yep, we need him. That's it. Just three questions. I did think there might be more, actually. But here we go. It is time. It's at Wembley. It's The last time we won a tournament was at Wembley against Germany. So the omen is there. Let's go out and let's deliver it. And let's bring it back home. Early corner then. Oxley chamberlain will take. Goes into the centre of the box. It's cleared away and Nabry helps it on its way. But Sterling has it now to Mori. Don't get tackled there. He's held it up well. Deli Alley goes back to Ben Chilwell. That's fine, boys. That's good. Keep hold of the ball. Maguire's played it over the top. And to Stegen will claim that. Um, interesting ball. They've lifted it forward now. That's not like to Stegen. He doesn't normally do that. And Serge Nabry, the danger man on the left. Oh, he's beaten his man. Pulls it back. And Jonas Hector, the left back, fires it well over the bar. But that was a good counter-attack. And it's... He's just given me a little bit of an alarm bell on that high defensive line. If they go down that left all the time with Serge Nabry, we're going to have to do something about it. And the corner comes in and Joshua Kimmich has headed in. Mario Goetze with the corner. Four minutes on the clock and Germany lead. Not good. It's a good delivery. He shouldn't be winning that header though. We should have been able to deal with that. And we're a goal down. And that is a nightmare start. Here's Nabry coming forward. Up against Chilwell. He's got the cross in. And Julian Draxler's headed in. And it's 2-0. And if we're going to do this, we are going to do it the hard way. Like we did against France. I mean, I don't think it's even the high line that's doing for us here. I mean, one was a set piece. And this one was a run from deep. And more shocking defending on a cross. Wow. Here's Tammy Abraham. Come on. Oh, he's been tackled. But he's won it back. Well done, Tammy. Plays it forward, looking for Harry Kane. Harry Kane could be in, and it's a good save from Tostegen, and cleared away. And that old, that old one-on-one -on -one FM20 bug at the minute is still there. Um, it's just you can't do a one-on-one a -on -one. if you're the striker. You just don't score them. Uh, Harry Maguire with this free kick. There's still plenty of time to go in this game. There is still loads and loads and loads of time. Next goal though is crucial. If we get it. We'll, we're right back in this. If it goes 3 0, it's done. Uh, here's Draxler, though. Kimmich back to Tar. Out to Weiser. Goretzka. Draxler. Come on, get into them. And Weiser's away. Down the right. And he has done what FM20 does and makes them shoot wildly off target. It's another little faux pas in the match engine um, that a lot of people have been complaining about. Max Aronzo has it now. Plays it infield to Deli Alley. Harry Winks. Long ball forward to Oxley Chamberlain, who could be in. Oh, and it's blocked. And Chamberlain sprints across to that side to take the corner. Come on. Let's get that goal. It's cleared away. Oh, come on, boy. To Stegen with this goal kick. To Jonathan Tarr. Rudiger. Go on, get in there. Thumped out to the wing. And every ball is just landing with them. They are just getting every pass on target at the minute. It's Nabry again, but Aarons has got back to him. Maguire to Chamberlain. Harry Winks, first time out to Aarons. This is better. Played into space for Sterling, who will get to it. He's in. Oh, and it's another one-on-one -on -one save. I haven't seen one of those scored yet, I don't think. Um, as Chamberlain will put this in. It's cleared away. It's back to Chamberlain. Oh, it's not going to lead to anything at all. And again, though, another highlight comes in. And there it is. It's for Keo Tomori with the header. And we are back in it. His first goal for his country. And it is 2-1. And that is 
definitely what we needed to see. We definitely needed us to be getting that first goal or that next goal. Um, obviously, as you will have noticed, we're playing in the red, Germany playing in the white. More more um, flashbacks to 66 there. Um, and doing it the hard way as well um, is something that we're definitely used to doing. Here's Max Ahrens. Get it back to 2-2 already would be amazing. Abraham looked ahead down. It's going to drop for Chilwell. Why do I get excited when the left back gets it? He is never scoring from there. Hector with the throw gets it back from Kimmich. Plays it. That was a dangerous ball across the area. If we were a bit more alive to that, we could have been in on that. But they've now slowed it right down, playing it foot, playing it around nicely. Goetze definitely playing as a false nine or a deep line forward, isn't he? And he's in there. What happened there? What happened? I did not. I just there didn't look to be any danger in that shot. I don't. I don't know how that's gone in. Goetze lifts it forward. Chilwell clears it. Gundogan heads down. Goretzka plays it forward. Does it? Did it? Oh, I still can't figure out what happened there. I don't know whether he's just shot that in directly. I mean, I would. I did wonder if there was an offside. Oh no, no. Alexander Arnold's playing him on. It's, it's a bizarre shot. It really, really is. I thought it must have taken a deflection, but it hasn't. And we're now 3-1 down. And Wembley is silenced again. And we have it all to do again. And we, we are matching them. We are matching them. But we're just we're not having that little run of the green. We're defending poorly, in fairness. Um, but you can't. I don't think you can blame any goal on that high defensive line that we're playing. They're not breaking through against us. It's been a corner... A run and a cross, and then a shot from 25, 30 yards. So I'm not really sure <laughs> tactically if we've got it wrong. Um, I'm going to get aggressive though. We've got all the way to the final, and to be 3 1 down, two goals behind on home soil is not good enough. Um, this Germany team, we've, we've broken their resistance, we've scored against them for the first time since the first game of the tournament for them. But we should, we should be doing better than this. They are not all that. A throw for Max Ahrens to take, Deli Alley to Max Ahrens again. So we've lost Oxley Chamberlain to injury now as Deli Alley come, puts it in. Harry Kane with the glancing header to Stegen holds on. Um, yeah, so Mason Mount's come on for Oxley Chamberlain and Marcus Rashford's come on on the left for Tammy Abraham because Abraham's had a very, very well, he's been anonymous really. He hasn't done anything. Um, I'm thinking. I don't know whether to do Deli Alley off uh, or Harry, even Harry Kane because he's been awful. He's got a 6.2. Really, it should be him that comes off. Maguire to take the free kick to Tamori. Mason Mount, we are running out of time. We need a goal and Rashford could be away here. He holds on to it and that allows the tackle to come in. He's won it back though and he's going now to Winks and Deli Alley. Raheem Sterling, Aaron's on the overlap. Holds on to it, gives it to Chilwell. They have really... They've, they've narrowed it down. Harry Kane. Chilwell didn't get across the ball enough and it's ended up straight at Tostegan. But that was a little bit better. And we're straight in with another highlight here. It's Johnny Tarr. Oh, this is such a damp squib ending. Serge Nabry could be away here. Oh, that's an awful shot from him though. Oh, this is not going well. Chilwell with the throw. Gets it back from Winks. So we have taken Harry Kane off and Callum Wilson is on. Oh, and what a finish. It's Max Ahrens. What a goal that is. It's his first goal and it's the unlikely score as we've gone attacking as well. Uh, Chilwell thumps the cross. It's a great ball in and it clears everyone and he just runs onto it. Oh, and that is a hell of a finish from Max Ahrens. What a strike from the kid. And it is 3-2 now and it is all to play for all of a sudden as Mount plays it in and Rashford oh he should have scored it's offside anyway it's offside anyway so I'm glad he didn't because I would have gone nuts if he had <laughs> and then had that heartbreak of it being disallowed um come on come on get to it get to it oh cross to Nabry Mount can't get to it and Nabry does the loose ball falling for them and Nabry again has fired it wide come on boys to Stegen has ball in hand. We are really pressing them up. That I do like. It's, but he's played the way out of it. We haven't really put them under any pressure. We just stood there. Um, come on, get into them. Two and a half minutes to go. And Nabry and that high line could have just cost us here. 
and the shot comes in. Tomori has got the block in. I'm just wondering whether to just drop that line down a little bit, um, but I guess it doesn't really matter now. Uh, <laughs> free kick for Goretzka. Ah! Flashes past that post. We have six minutes of added time. Wow. I haven't seen that much on um, on FM20 yet. Our players are knackered. They're not as bad. Oh, come on. Don't just flash forward. Oh, we've got a highlight. Surely not. Come on. Rashford play. Oh, Wilson's offside. He is way offside, isn't he? He hit, headed it off the bar anyway, but he was way offside. And it looks like it's going to be heroic failure for England. It's a familiar old story as Germany come to Wembley and are going to run away with another trophy unless something happens here and it isn't going to. Oh, God, we're going to have to see them Germans lift the trophy. Oh, my God, we're going to have to see the celebrations. Oh, well, it's white shirts. Does that does that make it any better? It's, it's white shirts celebrating. Oh. oh, that hurts. Oh, that's the Wembley pitch. Oh, my God, that hurts. Oh, I mean, we scored a hell of a goal with Max Ahrens, but you cannot go 2-0 down after 12 minutes and expect to get anything out of the game. You, it's, oh, damn. I mean, look at that. We were the better team. We were the better, better team. Um, oh, my God. Heartbreaking. So there it is. We oh, what a horrible way to end this little series. Um, we've dropped one place to fifth in the world rankings. Um, Germany lift the Euro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. England defeating Euro final. Um, broken arm for Oxley Chamberlain. Oh, so unlucky. So unlucky. But he's only out for a couple of months with a broken arm. Really. Um, England must build on Euro performance. Yeah, I mean, we've got to the final. I mean, it's probably further than we maybe thought we would get. Um, England players retire from international football. Jermaine Defoe. Okay. Ben Foster as well. Great. Um, English FA assess Euro performance. They're delighted to reach the final. Um, so that's pretty good. The Euro review. Biggest overachievers were us. And the biggest underachievers were Croatia. Um, so on the whole, it feels horrific at the minute. But we've done okay there. Now, this is the one that interests me. England must build on Euro performance. Now, I have, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, and I don't want to leave it. Um, we have unfinished business. We have unfinished business now. Um, and I am thinking that I would like to carry on the England adventure because we've got the Nations League coming up and it's a brilliant group as well. Um, if you're not aware now, they've changed it. They've changed the Nations League. So it is now four teams in a group instead of three because Germany got relegated. I think that's the only reason they've done it. So they've done it to four teams instead of three now, which means that Croatia are still in there, in the top league. Um, Germany are, of course. Um, but I just think it's a really good. We've got France, Iceland, and Croatia. I think that's a really, really good, um, a really good uh, group. We've also got a Qatar World Cup coming up. So jump in the comments and let me know. Do you think we? Sh well, I, I think we should carry on. I think we should carry on. Do the Nations League, um, and then. Do the um, do the World Cup qualifiers as well? Maybe not all of them. Maybe just do um, like highlights instead of instead of live comms that sort of thing, because the World Cup qualifying groups are not always that interesting, are they? But I definitely want to do the Nations League um, because if we can get through that and get into the final tournament as well of that, I think that'd be another little good series to do. So yeah, jump in the comments and let me know. Um, if I remember, I might stick a poll up as well, which should be up on the top of the screen somewhere. So click that little eye um, at the top of the screen and and have a look in there and see if there's a poll in there. Um, I really want to. France away, Iceland at home would be the next England episode if we do it. Not sure when it would be out because um, I've got the main series with FC Barcelona to do. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching all these episodes. Um, oh, so, so heartbreaking to lose that final. If we hadn't have conceded so early on, I think we'd have won it. I really do. I mean, you look at the stats and we were the better team. We should have won it. 
Um, but yes, yeah, so remember to smash a like on this guy, subscribe as well, turn on those notifications, jump in the description and the comments as always, and I will see you very soon for more amazing FM20 content. Let me know your saves are going as well, um, if you've got the game, if you haven't, let me know, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.